be in today's video we're going to take you to Phnom Rong castle or temple if you may we're going to share with you the lintel that was stolen during the Vietnam War and was eventually recovered we're also going to explain the laterite stone and I'm thinking how amazing it is that they were able to cut that so much of it and install it all over this castle. Okay, these are the steps are made out of laterite. I read up on those before. <laughs> it's the same as at the other. The I, I, I think all of the this era built in the 11th century all use this laterite and sandstone. facilities over here. The story of my life. We show up to these places and they're under construction. So the museum we're not able to show you. Unfortunate. Okay, today we come to เขาพนมรุ้งบุรีรัม <laughs> Today no fee Very good <laughs> Normally we have to pay Admission fee Thai people 20 baht Other nationality 100 baht Oh พนมรุ้ง Historic, historical Park and Panomrung Historical Park and Prasad Mung Tam. 30 baht, 150 baht. They open every day. But today we so lucky. Free, admit, 
free admission on special holiday. Yeah. <laughs> holiday special free admission from December 20th through January 7th, I believe it was. So here's the booth. This tells you the do's and don'ts. And you can fly a drone here. It costs a thousand baht for foreigners or 500 baht for residents to fly a drone. <coughs> it's going back down towards the parking area. Wow, these steps are. Yeah, these are kind of steep steps. Holy crap. <laughs> About lost my balance. So I'll pay more attention to steps than video. Yeah, I don't think you want to wear flip flops here either. I'm wearing flip flops, not a good idea. I'll show you how small the steps are with my foot here. They're little. Oh yeah, you are here. It yeah. says Plab Pla Pavilion. So this is the pavilion here. Over to the right, yeah. Yeah, on that side over there is the pavilion. Oh my word. <laughs> The steps are a challenge. <laughs> that, was, that was a good idea putting on. Oh, Jai did too. I'm the only one that didn't put on. I'm the only one with flip-flops. <laughs> I asked... It's probably the same as this. Ladder, right? Yeah, probably. I asked what they're called, what their name is, and they told me poles. <laughs> Imagine these laterite walkways are over a thousand years old from the 11th century. And I can tell you already, you don't want to take your flip flops off to try to walk these steps because this stuff hurts your feet. It's like standing on lava rock. I would suggest just wear tennis shoes. Plan ahead and bring tennis shoes with you. The rest of my party did. I didn't. The stones, the way they're carved, the engravings in the stone. Then the cobra head snakes. Now, Andy, what was this bridge called? First Naga Bridge. First Naga Bridge. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we're going to another. So these are not just oh narrow to stand on, they're steep to go up. I can keep it, maybe even. Look at that. Just be careful, babe. Maybe I have to climb. Yeah, I'm going to go beside you so I can be careful. Nice. Oh, they have this side too. Is it any better? <laughs> I'm going up the steps. What a view. So pretty here. I don't think the steps on the side are any better than here. No, this is the best way to come. I get a car. I get a car. Yeah, we were told to go to the parking lot that's. Oh, there it is over there on that side. And then you don't have to come up the steps. But I'm thinking that's. After the fun of coming here, do the steps and see the beauty. It's very well preserved, surprisingly so. Okay, I can see here the second level Naga Bridge is a cruciform platform connecting the terrace to the eastern archway, the Kapura. There is also an eight petals lotus motif in the center of the bridge. The second Naga Bridge was decorated with balustrades in the shape of five heads Naga spreading their radius and facing the cardinal direction. A lot of this structure was taken apart, stone by stone, and rebuilt again. And I don't remember the century that that happened. I'm going to do my best to keep this in focus while I read it, but the relief on the front pediment of the Eastern Arch Gateway, the Yoga Dikas Namurti, <laughs> refer to the story of Shiva, which depicted as Rishi holding a rosary in his right hand, sitting with his legs, or his right leg extended in a posture known as Lalitasana, surrounded by attendants. See in the sky. <laughs> okay, we're gonna walk in now and see if it gets enough light to film. You gotta watch your step because there's steps in here. Oh. They're asking you, please do not sit on anything here. Now this one here is laying down. Okay, these two brick towers were built in the 10th century CE Kokur 
and pre-rupt styles. It was assumed that they might have been three towers that had been demolished. In addition, the colonnettes of the Kokur and pre-rupt styles were discovered. They are contemporary and these with these two towers. Hmm. To do this place justice, you've got to come here. This is said to be the pride of Buriram. But this is the piece that was stolen, actually. So this piece above the doorway, that center section, is the piece that was stolen during the Vietnam War era. This lintel was stolen in the 1960s and turned up as an exhibit at the Art Institute in Chicago. It took some lengthy diplomatic efforts to ensure their restitution of the piece, which took place in 1988. Okay, you read that. It's quite interesting. The Laterite rectangular building is called Banalai, means library for religious documents were kept here. There is a pedestal inside the building which assumed the images of Mayana Buddhism was once enshrined. The Banalai was built in the 13th century CE in Bayan style. So tough laterite steps to go up. Got to be careful with the steps here. So well maintained, well preserved. Over a thousand years old. And so intact still. This pediment was depicted Shiva and Yuma, known as Yuma Mahersavara. Shiva is sitting on the back of Nadi bull holding Yuma in one hand and his Atrup Trisula. And that would be up there and it's partially damaged. So three through five of, what month is that? April and eight through 10 of November. Okay. I, I, think, I think that's the months I remember, but it's in Thai and I can't tell you for sure that the sun will shine straight through. And also the moon does as well. So it's too bad we missed that. We're, 20th of December now. Just imagine though to the alignment to look straight through all these doorways. Really got to be careful with the steps in here because it's dark. The center. Sorry, cop. It's still intact here. This standing door guardian. They were door guardians on the other side, but partially broken. I, I tell you, you just got to come see this place. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So just imagining while you're here, it's over a thousand years old. There's so many 
things that are engraved all over this and all the various different levels. Even all the way up at the top, I see engravings. I mean, just about everywhere you look here, there's engravings and stone work done. Prang Noi, or the minor sanctuary, was built in Hinduism in the 11th century of Bafuan style. The only entrance is in the east. The top of the Prang Noi is probably not finished. The bas relief on the eastern pediment depicts the scene of Krishna lifting the Govardhana mountain, the eighth incarnation of God Vishnu. So something I don't think I've mentioned in the video is this entire place is built on a volcano. And Andy, do you recall how high is 325 meters or something like that? Yeah. I told Andy I've read the story three times, and so far I remember very little. <laughs> now that's cool. Remember earlier in the video, I told you they took these apart stone by stone, kind of like they did the London Bridge and they put it back together. These, you can see the numbering, the markings to identify where they go. This is the view looking down the stairwell, stairway, stepway, or whatever you want to call this, down to where all the people are coming in. We came early, so we beat the crowds. The crowd started coming in pretty heavy now. So that's another good idea. If you're gonna come here, come early to beat the crowds. They open, they open at seven o'clock. The other thing, if you wanna fly a drone here, if you're Thai, it's 500 baht. If you're a foreigner, it's a thousand baht. You can fly a drone, but you have to be willing to pay the thousand baht, which is roughly $30 US. How are you feeling, baby? I'm feeling good. Lovely place. Happy you came here. Yeah, we will come back. Mm -hmm. Very nice place. Historical <laughs> place. <laughs> okay, you're going to have to read this because I absolutely will destroy those words. So I'll freeze it to where you can read it. But basically, this is the changing room before they got up to the temple. Open plan building with a raised platform and porches on the east and west. Penang Rung Historical Park. It's a must-see. They're talking about making it one of the wonders of the world. We hope you enjoyed this content. We shared with you one of the lentils that was stolen during the Vietnam era and recovered wonderfully. The temple itself is over a thousand years old. And do you ever wonder how they cut all this laterite stone? A thousand years ago. It's just impressing and exciting to me. And look at all of the intricate tooling that was done here. It's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm impressed with it and I hope you were as well.
If you like this content, please reach down to the bottom and mash the like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. This is Bobby and Jai, the time to get going. We're out.